Today, on 25th of August, we commemorate the genocidal attacks uh, in Rakhine State six years ago uh, that were committed by the Myanmar military that led to uh, untold suffering to the Rohingya community and that remains an open wound in the situation in Myanmar today. The commemoration looks back at these atrocities and asks for justice, but we must also look forward to the process of building a new federal democratic Myanmar in which the Rohingya community must play a full and equal part from the beginning. The atrocities were not a one-time event. They were in fact a culmination of many years of exclusion and discrimination and a long-standing attitude among many others in Burma to uh, exclude the Rohingya even from the basic rights of citizenship. A lot of the long-standing prejudice and biases must be unlearned, including among those who stand for and fight for democracy in Myanmar. Last week, International IDEA participated in an event that celebrated and commemorated the role of Rohingya women that also called for a commitment to action beyond phrases, beyond superficial statements of solidarity, because now is a time for action. It's a time for action in terms of justice, it's a term for action in terms of humanitarian need to cover the basic needs of the communities, both inside Myanmar and those displaced to Bangladesh. But it is also a call to action to the international community and the interim institutions that are working towards building a new federal and democratic Myanmar. It is very encouraging to see the National Unity Government's statement on the Rohingya, referring to its Rohingya policy that came out today that explicitly recognized the responsibility for the genocidal attacks six years ago. It also fully invited the Rohingya as equal citizens, as nationals of Myanmar, to participate in the future democratic process. And here we move from commemorating to actually celebrating the diverse community of the Rohingya as Myanmar citizens. And we must commit to allow them to play a meaningful role from the very beginning and to avoid deprioritizing their suffering and their situation and postponing the solution for the Rohingya crisis to a later day. It is a responsibility that we all bear uh, and we will not be able to complete the process of democratic transformation without giving the Rohingya a full and equal role in this process. International IDEA will work actively with Rohingya representatives and other communities in order to do our part.